What's going on guys, Carson Cruz, and today we're gonna do a tier list ranking the top 25 cards in my team. If you see my list here, you see these are cards at the bottom. Are gonna be the ones that are missing from the list, noticeably. And uh, then we got the top five, top 10, top 15, and then the top 25, just the cards that were, you know, obviously we're gonna rank them in order here <coughs> with the one closest to the top five being the card that I think is the best card in my team. If you're the challenge, subscribe button, let's get started with, oh, well, some people that are noticed me missing from the top 25. I've got Anthony Davis here. Uh, at, at this point in the game, doesn't matter how many cards you had to collect to get a card, your pride can't get in your way. This card has for a, well, for, for what is the in-game collection reward. He doesn't have a good behind the back. His SIGs are all normal SIGs. And uh, yeah, he, he's just not exceptional. His release is not super fast. This is a decent release, but he still feels like he has steady shooter to me too. Even though I think they took it off whenever he, uh, they did his last update. Man, imagine 2K updating all of these cards. <laughs> uh, that's gotta be frustrating for them. Uh, and the next noticeably missing card from the top 25 list is this Scotty Pippen card that probably a lot of you guys are locked in uh there's just better cards and uh yes he is a great defender but uh, dude you, you can't have your it's just like jason kidd for me i like to use jason kidd but you, your point guard cannot be a liability uh shooting the ball and scotty pippen is his release is it's not that great so you know th it, we're at the point where you have to have a great release in order to make this top 25 list and uh, I, I just don't feel like his is. Uh, next up is Amari Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire, he's just not, I mean, he's like low 90s feeling on everything. I mean, he feels good, but he doesn't feel great at anything. His dribble, he, he's, funny enough, his, his dribble segs are probably the best thing about him. Uh, his release is okay, it's slow, it's slow. He's a good, good dunker, but yeah, he's not 20, top 25. So that's why he's down here on this bottom part of the list. Um, anybody else we need to add on here? What else we go? Um, and I'm gonna put them here, and then we'll push them in order, because obviously gonna be impossible to do it. But just kind of how I feel. George Gervin, he is around the top 25, dude. One of the most underrated cards in the game. He has these hop step fadeaways, hop step link or floaters and can dunk hop step like crazy he has a great release um good dribble moves uh yeah dude he's one of, he's one of my i mean he's on my team and he's one of my favorite cards but obviously people probably feel differently about him but I, yeah i feel like he's top 25 it's just do it and i can show you too or tell you how i did this was i ranked i took out all the players uh based on their stats so Let's see here. I'm just gonna pull this up here for you real quick. You can see this list of... Whoa! Yeah. You can see my list of centers, how I ranked them uh, and sorted them. And basically this is where they go. Anthony Davis is up there at the top, but he, he gets taken off for his release. You got Karolinko, uh, but the sort, I did on there, I just took out shot IQ, offensive consistently, offensive consistency, speed with ball, interior defense, yeah, I mean, our pass IQ, vision, pass IQ, our move reaction time, defensive consistency, intangibles, and potential, and this re-ranked the cards with this number over here on the right. Uh, if you do it like this, Hey, you can kind of see the top cards that I think of my team without those stupid uh, stats. I'll leave a link to this in the description below the video so you can check it out. But let's get back over here to our tier list and let's rank these cards uh, in my... Oh, shit, man. Let's rank the top 25 cards in my team. All right, starting right now. And I'll see what we get. Giannis Adekupo, Pink Diamond Glitched, and... Oh, I'm going to put him down here because... I'm not gonna have more than one of a card on here. Obviously, if you have this card, you probably. So yeah, you got Giannis there. He is in the top five. We'll, we'll, we'll go back and rank him here in a little bit. 
We got Shaq, and I'm going to put him in the top 25. I, dude, his release is just so bad, and there's so many good cards. One guy unsub from me from this, and uh, that's unfortunate for him. Ben Simmons, I'm going to put him here top 15. Dude, it's just, he's just that good. Uh, Lamar Odom, same for him. I think he's top 15. Hakeem Olajuwon, yeah, we're going to go top 25 with him. Kobe down here on the top 25 part. T-Mac. <clears throat> I'm gonna go top five. Glitch team at Paul George. I'm gonna go top ten. Uh, we got Glenn Rice. I'm gonna go top twenty-five for him. Same with Demar Derozan. Kareem top five. Jimmy Butler top ten. Jonathan Isaac top fifteen. Kevin Durant top ten. Bill Russell. I'm gonna go missing on him, and uh, he's basically missing from the top 25 because he has Penny Hardaway's release and dude like there's just too many good cards in the game right now uh, this Giannis right here I'm gonna put him on missing like I said I'm not putting multiple of any player up here on the top 25 um, but he is <laughs> I mean it's Giannis dude he he deserves to be up here on this top 25 list um, yeah, it's a great card you know a lot of people bitch about him not having a range extender, but who cares, dude? You just fucking dribble down the lane and hop step with the honest, and he's one of the best defenders in the game. Uh, this Bill Walton card, <clears throat> I mean, he's missing range extender. He's a great release, though. It's unfortunate he doesn't at least have gold, but I'm going to put him on missing, uh, he, but, but, but just barely, dude. He's not quite as fast and glitchy feeling as Giannis, but he has better hop step dunk animations like it's easier to trigger the more powerful ones with them i'm telling you i don't know why that is uh Kawhi, i'm gonna put him on the top 15 um yeah pascal siakam there we go top 15 Joel Embiid, top 15 Jerry Lucas, I'm not even missing, bro. I, I just, I don't think there's anything great about this card. Uh, feels okay. Let's put him in top 25. Top 25. Rudy Gay. Uh, no, I'll put Rudy Gay top 15. I'm gonna have to move some people. Uh, Andre Karolinko, top five, dude. I love that card, and yeah, he he's amazing. D Wade. I don't see why people don't rank him higher. Uh, look, dude, I mean, he is the easiest guy to get open and shoot threes with, dude. I, I don't know why DBG doesn't. I know why DBG doesn't use him a point guard. He doesn't have guys. If DBG had this Galaxy Opal D Wade, he would be using him a point guard every game. Trust me, he is the best peak shooter in the game. Like, don't waste your MT on a guy like LeBron or somebody like that because this is not. He's not as good. Uh, LeBron James, top 10. He's close, though. <laughs> He's very close. Magic, top 5. Jordan. And somebody's going to have to move out because that's 6 cards. Dang it. Uh, and then who else we got down here? Oh, West Sun Sale. Top 25. Oh. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need one more down here. <clears throat> Man, just looking at this right here. I'm gonna move Lamar Odom right there. Actually, I'm gonna move Rudy Gay down here. Lamar Odom can stay up there. And then now we have to rank them in order. Let's go. Let's start down here with the top 25. And let's move George Gervin, obviously, over here. We're not going to be able to... We can get away with putting him on the list. I, dude, I think he's... I like him better than Rudy Gay, man. Fuck Rudy Gay. I'm going to leave Rudy Gay down there in the last spot. West Unsell. He's really good. Just can't... We're going to put Jerry Lucas down here at the end. Glenn Rice over here. DeMar DeRozan over here. Actually, put Kobe over here on the other side of them. Team Shaq. I like Kevin McHale, man. I like this card. Uh, his release is nice, bro. He's not quite as good as Keem, I don't think. And then we 
got Glenn Rice, DeRozan. We'll put George Gervin right there behind them. Dude, those three are the best three shooting guards up there, dude. I, I mean, I'm probably going to be slapped upside the head for putting him. Dude, George Gervin is the best shot blocker at the two, besides Glenn Rice. Kobe is not impressive for his stats, man, and I, I'm not an animation... Nobody uses this card. Nobody uses Pro 5 Hezzy. I don't care if you like Kobe Bryant. He He's barely a top 25 card. Uh, there are guys who will cook you with him because they're good with his release, but dude, anybody can be good with any release, dude. It, it, it's, it's, it's going to be person by person, and dude, I, I, I don't love Kobe's release, but uh, Wes Unsell has it, and it's one of the reasons why I don't, but dude, it's not, it's not, look, this isn't about stats. I don't care if you think this video is subjective or not, man, because it is. It's my opinion. And Kobe's is not a great card in 2K. Right, I said it. DBG don't have to say it. He can stop making up for him. They, they didn't change the releases around. The servers were acting better, I swear, because the releases are all back to being shit with the meter on. Or, yeah, I had to turn the meter off again because the releases are all so bad. But anyway. Moving on, that's kind of where I feel about Kobe Bryant. He's probably in the top 25, but I mean, he's a good car. You, you can do his little bicycle kick between the legs, size up, and uh, yeah, does it. That's cool looking, but uh, yeah, I don't. You, you can't do a lot. Of, I mean, he just doesn't do a lot. Uh, at number 15 is going to be Kawhi Leonard. I'd put him right here, and then I got. <clears throat> um, Lamar Odom right there going in that spot and then we got Vince man Jonathan Isaac dude I, I just don't know enough about I don't think I'm gonna like Jonathan Isaac as much but I got Jonathan Isaac here and Pascal Siakam at number 15, Joel Embiid at 16, Jonathan Isaac at 17, Ben Simmons at 18, Lamar at 19, and Kawhi Leonard at number 20. Uh, why are we? Why are we still one? Uh, we're still one off. Jesus Christ. <coughs> yeah. So, man, this is so hard to do. It's so hard to do this. <laughs> uh, look, I'll move him down. LeBron James can go here. He's overpriced, big time. Uh, Dwayne Wade, <laughs> we got to move one guy down from this top list here. Move Michael Jordan. Goat Michael Jordan can be number six. This is falling right in order. <laughs> number seven, Paul George, Galaxy Opal. Number eight, Jimmy Butler, Galaxy Opal. Number nine, Kevin Durant, Galaxy Opal. And number 10, Dwayne Wade, Galaxy Opal. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty good list right there. Not going to lie. At number five, we got the Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson, who we're going to move right over here to number four. We got this Andre Karolinko is a badass dude. I don't know why he's so cheap, man. I do because people are fucking stupid. Uh, to me, Kareem Dul-Jabbar, dude, he's, he's good. He's another, like, Giannis Hop Stepper type dude. But, dude, T-Max always just, like, the glitchiest, craziest card in my team. And this point guard, T-Mac, is great. People who say he's not worth it, well, it's because they can't afford him. Uh, at number one in the game is obviously this Galaxy Opal Giannis takeover card. Giannis is the best build card in the game. With Hall of Fame Quick Draw, he is amazing. And he is the best card in NBA 2K20. My team, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. This is Carson Cruz. Peace.